Install and go. We like to be our shy. First and foremost, call Halalim, La Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakapadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the spirit. Enough respect, peace, and blessings to the and salutations to the Akim pushing its 100% gospel the world over in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to you, for you sisters. And Adawan Ratza, which means Lord willing. And that's the Lord willing. This lesson is edifying. All right, so through the spirit, I'm going to talk about endurance, okay? And enduring. All right. You know, in, <clears throat> in this truth, especially if you're, you know, just coming in, you need brothers and sisters just coming to the truth, man. All right, there's going to be, you know, trials and tribulations, you know. At some point in your journey, the verb it comes from the late 14th century to undergo or to suffer, okay, especially without breaking, also to continue in existence. From old French, endure, 12th century, make hard, harden, to bear, to tolerate, keep up, maintain. From Latin, endura make hard all right these are all the you know <clears throat> all the uh, qualities that you'll need spiritually in this walk all right in this truth okay in the late line it's harden the heart okay against uh from in and dura to harden from dura's hard to so fix variant from or of root deru all right be firm solid steadfast Okay. And if we get a quick Oxford definition to endure, okay. Endure. Again, suffer something painfully or patiently, remain in existence. And you can see from the origin, it's Latin in, and and uh, dura is hard, right? Latin endura, harden, all French endura, endure. Okay. So in this walk, in this truth, man. You know, you're going to go through things, you're going to suffer, alright? And we have to suffer, it's necessary. Alright? You need to purge out that, <clears throat> you know, wickedness, that impurity in us. Alright? For your house, I'd say. So the precept, the first precept I'm going to, I'm going to get is in the book of Hebrews chapter 10. Start at verse 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Alright? So, you know, we have to suffer on this side, right, and go through things. Alright? For Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, sake. Okay, again, trials and tribulations, which he set up and ordained for us to go through. All right, and that's that spiritual fire, that purifying agent. All right, to see if we're fit and if we're worthy. All right, to receive that crown, that reward. Okay, it's all necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the word, uh, patience. See what that says, okay. You know, Lord willing, this lesson is exalting and edifying, right? So, the Greek word for patience is Strong's G 5281. Pupamane, Pupamane goes into steadfastness, constancy, endurance. In the New Testament, the characteristic of a man who does not swear from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety, even by the greatest trials and sufferings, you know, and that's the spirit that's. Well put, okay. Blue letter be on point sometimes, even though at times it goes off. All right, patiently and steadfastly, a patient, steadfast, waiting for, enduring, persevering, sustaining. Okay. And if we get that in another translation, so Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty-six, in the ESV, it reads, "For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of Yahweh." 
Bahasham Yahusha, you may receive what is promised. Okay, and that promise is the kingdom, right? That everlasting kingdom set up and ruled by Yahweh Bahasham Yahusha. Okay, and then Malak Dawada, and then the 144,000 the elect. All right. And you know, in this truth, man, you're going to be tempted in various forms, man, many different forms, right? You don't want to succumb to the lusts and the temptations, man. Speaking first and foremost for myself, okay? You know, that's just part of the spiritual battle, okay? The question is, will you falter, okay? Will you stop teaching on the internet, right? Will you stop teaching on the highways and hedges? Will you stop listening to these lessons? these digital epistles, okay, altogether will you end up departing from the ministry, right, the main thing is being long-suffering and patiently waiting on your Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, okay, and whilst we're doing that, you know, notice how I say we, right, because I'm not exempt, none of us are, okay, whilst we're waiting on your Yahweh return, right, again, we've got to enjoy, we've got to suffer, whether it be... <coughs> You know, your family coming against you, your job coming against you, ailments, physical ailments, all right? Because ultimately, you know, we're on Yahweh Shai's time, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's time. Let's get a precept in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 13. Yeah, these are the words of Apostle Paul to the Israelites in Corinth. So 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, start verse 6. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Beareth all things, believe all, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Okay? You know, and of course, man, we'd all love to get out of captivity quickly. Who wouldn't? Alright, but just remember, we're on the last time. Okay? So, beareth all things, alright, take whatever comes our way, alright, the negative, you know, ailments, whatever the case may be, stress, alright, believeth all things, okay, the sweet and the bitterness of this role, of this truth, okay, the good and the ugly, all right, hopeth all things. All right, you know, whilst we, you know, believe all things, you know, we're teaching the one hundred percent gospel of Yahweh Shai, all right, <clears throat> brought forth by our apostles and elders. Okay, you know, hopeth all things, all right, because we all have the same hope, you know, to be saved and delivered. Right, from captivity, henceforth the reason why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. Apostle Paul put it well. Prisoner, you know, prisoner of, uh, of hope. Alright, endure for all things. Okay. Because ultimately, the servant is not, the servant, alright, is not greater than his master. Yahweh Shai's journey was most certainly not easy. He was persecuted. Alright, so we will too. Back to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. All right, Hebrews 10 and 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of your how vow, Shai, you might receive the promise. Okay. Because the Most High promised he'll give us the kingdom, all right? The kingdom we, we exist in right now, all right? Because well and truly, we ain't really living at all. We're just scraping by, all right? This kingdom we're in is run by wickedness and unrighteousness. It's run in wickedness and, in, and in unrighteousness, all right? Under the devil, Esau, Edom, okay? Let's get rid of precept. <coughs> Uh, the book of 
Hebrews chapter 13 just to strip straight to verse 14 for here have we no continuing city but we seek one to come all right that's why we're mentally and spiritually departing from the ways and fashion of this world right and disregarding the nonsense that this society pushes okay because here is not our end all be all micah chapter 2 verse 10 arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction that's right man in the kingdom we will get our rest here we can't fully enjoy ourselves all right this society has polluted us spiritually mentally physically look how defiled the earth is all right after all we are in captivity too get Philippians chapter 3 skip to verse 20 but our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the Savior the Lord Yahweh Hamashiach all right who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself okay so this current evil kingdom Right, it's going to be destroyed all right by fire literal fire okay yahweh shall will cleanse this earth all right and fire is a purifying agent okay so we'll just look at the word conversation in this verse in the greek it is strong's g 4175 palitima Palituma. The administration of civil affairs or of a commonwealth, the constitution of a commonwealth, form or government and the laws by which is which it is administer, the state, commonwealth, commonwealth of citizens. Okay. You know in the kingdom there's gonna be order. Okay. Here everything is, you know, turned upside down. And how should we, you know, conduct ourselves? Because Hebrews are like men. Hebrews were like women and Hebrews were like children. Of Yahweh Baal Shemel Shai. Okay. How should we conduct ourselves? Should we be making mirth? Right. Or should we, should we be repenting? Okay. Going out to our people who so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as the speckled birds scattered across the world who may look like these other nations, but who are Israelites according to the Spirit. Okay. Repentance is available for you right but at the end of the day we have to keep enjoying all right and build our faith remain strong spiritually okay let's get back to hebrews Hebrews 10 and 36, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of your Yahweh Shai, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Right? Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. That's right. Because he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Okay? Our reward is not in vain. We're not doing this work in, you know in vain all right that's why we've got to remain strong in this truth okay our situation should bring us closer to the lord rather than push us away okay rather than push us away from him let that be a lesson you know to learn from all right so i hope this lesson was uplifting encouraging Edifying and exhorting to the elect of the nation of Yasha Allah. I'm just going to leave that there. So with that, Shalom, Ababa Ball, Kwam Yasha Allah, Shalom to the elect.